Welcome back, Psych2Goers. Before we begin, we would like to thank all of you for your ongoing love and support. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that. Now, let's begin. Being an independent person or putting forth the effort to become one proves that you have grown and developed as a human being. Although it's not always easy to be independent, the effort and hard work is well worth it as you develop the ability to become self-sufficient and break out of your comfort zone. Are you someone who's become an independent individual? Let's find out now. Here are five things that prove you are an independent person. One, you try to solve your problems for yourself, but you don't hesitate to ask for help when you need it. A substantial part of growing up is learning to find solutions for your problems by yourself. Some people don't receive much assistance from their parents as they grow, so fending for themselves becomes natural. Others, however, grow up receiving ample attention and care from their caregivers, which may encourage them to rely on other people that make them feel safe and grounded for guidance. You ultimately must learn to take care of yourself and efficiently solve your own problems. An independent person will do what they can to resolve their issues alone, but is not afraid to ask a trusted source for help if they really need it. Two, you know that people do not owe you assistance. You accept the fact that you will not always get what you want in life. Growing and maturing means that you'll experience failure, but you know you must stand back up, dust yourself off and move forward. Perhaps sometimes you'll receive the support that you want or need to get through the situation more easily. But in some cases, there may not be anyone able or willing to lend a helping hand. This may be disheartening, but it's okay. You know that there will not always be someone available to help and that everyone has their own hardships that they must tend to. Three, you're attentive to your finances. Wisely utilizing and saving money is a very important part of being a self-sufficient individual. Making a living and supporting yourself is a telltale sign of being independent. Once you leave the nest that is your guardian's home, you become responsible for your own well-being and financial stability. Four, you don't rely on the opinions of others regarding yourself and your livelihood. Everyone will always have their opinions based primarily off their own experiences and ways of seeing life. Others' opinions may or may not resonate with your own in regards to the way you see the world and live your own life. It's important to ensure that your necessities are met and that you stick to your plans and goals. So long as you're making safe and healthy choices, you should not feel the need to change or quit on things because of people's criticisms. Being headstrong and responsible enough to maintain yourself while pursuing your dreams is a display of being a responsible individual. And five, you accept and are receptive to constructive criticism. Not relying on outside opinions regarding what you should or shouldn't do with your life is just as crucial as being able to listen to kind, constructive criticism. Listening to and respecting comments that are not necessarily what you wanna hear requires a great level of maturity. If you're open to consider the critiques of those who want to help you, you're someone that is confident in their independence. How many of these points do you relate to? Are you an independent person or someone who still has some work to do? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like it and share this video and subscribe to Psych2Go for more content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.